you are actually in uh, Oshlaga Maisonneuve uh, at what we call the Oshlaga base camp uh, for homeless people. They're homeless because some uh, have lost their job uh, because of pandemic. Some have been uh, homeless for 20 years. It all depends. If you remember what they did in November at Notre Dame camp, if they do the same, uh, that's gonna be a very, very tough day. We hope they won't do this. Uh, we are there because they live in this place and then shelters are not meant for everyone. So, so we have 300 person that lives in our shelters and then that's okay, but it's not meant for everyone. So people have all kinds of reasons why they are homeless. This is not me to judge why they are homeless. I am there to help them to make sure that this will not stay this way and then to find apartments for them or to get paperwork and then do all this. But while we're doing this, they need to stay somewhere and shelters are not meant for everyone. I would like to give you an update this afternoon on the situation at the Steinberg Woodland Camp in Oshlaga, which has evolved rapidly uh, since uh, Saturday night. Our priority is always to offer accompaniment to vulnerable people towards available resources and to ensure the safety of everyone on the territory. We cannot uh, tolerate the risk of tragedies such those who were narrowly avoided at the Camp uh, Notre Dame uh, last fall. As soon as we knew that, we mobilized our uh, partners, you know, to be there to uh, accompany the people. A permanent solution is social housing, and we work on that. Our administration is working day by day on that. We will continue to offer services for people in the uh, shelters, you know, and for social housing. I cannot understand that we're hearing proposition of shelters. I mean, shelters has been there all along. We have a new situation with the pandemic and it seems that we're offering the same solution to a different problem. We've never had these big encampments ever. And now we're in that situation where the government needs to invest. Our mayor has to invest, put the money where her mouth is. 10 days ago, I hear our mayor talk about how it would be uh, done in a way that would respect human at their rhythm and their full dignity and in bienveillance. Yet she's actually doing the same thing as last year, repressive approach. And on top of that, she's giving Quebec the responsibility to act on things that were obvious that were going to happen. So she's got to stop trying to blame Mr. Coderre for coming here and say that we play politics. She's playing politics. Enough with the politics. Let's put some investments.